It is time to fundamentally transform transport in Asia to ensure sustainable development in the region and achieve global climate goals. Acknowledging myths and debunking them is key in the planning stage towards the envisioned transformation. As new products and technologies enter the market, old ones are replaced and sometimes whole industries vanish. Myth number three, decarbonizing transport will cost jobs. The International Labour Organization, or ILO, has estimated that by 2030, an additional 14.2 million green jobs could be generated in the Asia-Pacific region, provided that countries shift to renewable energy sources, that energy efficiency standards are increased in building and construction, and that transportation shifts to renewable electric sources. The ILO says, managed well, Transitions to environmentally and socially sustainable economies can become a strong driver of job creation, job upgrading, social justice and poverty eradication. When developing campaigns to transition to zero-carbon transport by mid-century, let's focus on debunking the myths around sustainable transport and develop strategies that allow communities to be transformed into advocates for change. Achieving this can be done one step at a time 